hello guys welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are gonna learn how we can create the get api in the laravel so because the get apis or uh, even not get apis you know uh, api is a very important part of the today uh, since the angular uh, react and uh, other the front end frameworks are uh, going popular so let's learn how we can do that so before going to start i am going to tell that uh, how much steps we have to follow and we have to cross the steps to make a simple get api and this is a pretty simple this there is a no too much rocket science so don't worry about that uh, so let's take it easy okay so first of all we have to make the route then we have to make the controller and the model uh, and uh, at the last we have to just call the api on the postman all right so it's a uh, pretty simple and before uh, going to start uh, i'm assuming that you have to basic knowledge of the routing and controller and model and if you don't have the knowledge then don't worry the related video are given in the description box uh, and these video also made by the me and if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box uh, without hesitation i'll i'll uh, try to always to give the quick reply all right so now let's start with the apis uh, so first of all uh, uh basically you can see that we made the routers in the web.php and the uh, result is here okay so now we have to make the routers inside the api file api.php this is also present in the route.php all right so simply just write here router and just write it get and you can write the uh, url whatever you want to consume and the uh, your uh, controller name so youtube i already made a controller which is the youtube and the function name is the index uh, i'll going to show you within a minute all right so now just i'm going to open the controller youtube okay so it's always be present inside the controllers folder inside the app dot uh, http and here I just make a simple controller with this command, uh, this code. And uh, here you can see that I have a index functions, and this is the URL of this. Uh, this is the controller name, and this is the function name. All right. So with the postman, I'm going to call it. Just put a simple flash here, and uh, now you can see that whenever I'm going to click, then you can see that some data are here. All right. So if I'm going to change here uh, data from DB, so it will be reflect here. All right. So now uh, control is already created as me because it's not uh, too much uh, uh, rocket science kind of. And this is the uh, route file, which is the api.php. So now I'm going to make a controller. All right. So for that, uh, I'm going to show you where we have to make the controller. Okay, so just open your command line prompt and write here PHP artisan, and you can write here make model user. All right, and just hit the enter, and you are saying that the model is already exist. Okay so i'm going to delete this model let's find here this is here so because we have to do it from the very scratch all right so just click here and you will see that uh, we got a one more model is here uh, inside your app dot folder app folder here is that so it's a very simple file there is nothing uh, too much expensive so now just a uh, quick I'm going to stable the database connection to open the .env file. With the .env file, you have to just write the three things here, and you will see the database connections uh, code here. So just write here db name, which is the user, and how you can check that. So just I'm going to open the PHP MySQL. I'll just ignore it and you will see that uh, there is a test okay so with the test we have a table named users 
all right so uh, I'm going to write here test all right so previous uh, connection going with the user so I'm not going to do it do it just uh, connect connect with the test and the table name is users so how we will use this I'll tell you okay then after the username and password if you have and if you don't have the password then you can leave it blank all right that's fine so now uh, just go to the uh, your model and write then you can write here uh, very simply like protected protected dollar table equal to users all right so by default if your model name is user then it will already think that uh, with the laravel sense that the table name should be uh, users all right so you never have to define this okay it will going to automatically work and if you have some other name like uh, my table then you have to define it all right so in our case then you can see that the table name is user all right users all right so we don't need to define the table name here all right so i'm going to remove this so now we have what we have to do uh, just go to your uh, controller and import your model here so just simply write here app and user that's it okay so I have to choose the forward slash here all right and for now you can use dollar data equal to dollar uh, sorry user scope resolution method all that means it will get the all uh, results from the user so we have the two results with the name of Anil and Sam then we can see that okay so just write here return dollar data and put the semicolon here that's it and now just hit the uh, postman and you will see that we got the result here in the API all right okay so let's uh, do a quick review so that uh, if you have any kind of confusion you will solve it easily so first of need we have to create the uh, router so this is the uh, api dot php inside the router and in the router you have to write your mm, url with the api if you don't need, don't put the apis then it will give you the error all right so then you have to put the apis for api purpose all right after that uh, you have to create a model sorry controller this is a controller this is already created with the youtube name all right and after that just create a controller name the user.php and import it inside inside our controller and after the uh, importing this then use this simply command to get the old results or otherwise you can use the uh, other uh, mysql query commands to get the data for the where conditions and joints and all everything is going to work here all right and if you do not know that how to set up the data database then just you have to write three things the database name username and the password if you have all right and return it all right then you will see that you got the simple api here with the status is 200 okay then if there is some error then let's say i'm going to put something like this then it will give you the error like this with the 500 internal server error all right so this is a very simple uh, get api example and if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box in the next video i'm going to make a post video so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching this video bye bye